Hello, it is A Nikki B on this scene, and welcome back to my channel. And yes, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another beat with me. So today we are talking about Love Is Blind season two. I'm gonna just talk about the people of the show, so I'm really not gonna go through each and every single episode because I feel like a lot just happened, and I'm just talking about the stuff that stood out to me. And everybody knows that the last episode comes out February 25th, so please grab your popcorn, grab your juice, grab anything you need. Pack, pack, pack. To get ready for this drama. So the first person we're gonna talk about is Shane. Now I do not like Shane. I don't care how much he has grown through the season or just a little bit just a smidget but I just don't see the appeal especially with Natalie you know Natalie she seems like a very serious person so I can kind of see why she might be a little bit attracted to him because he has that goofy side to him and he needs that serious person on his end but at the same time Shane doesn't know what he wants Shane just out here just looking goofy first of all homeboy has a real estate agency but doesn't believe in 401k. I don't understand how that works but like something about that just doesn't scream green flags. It's screaming red flags. It's screaming Natalie just needs to give up the dream of trying to you know convince herself to love this man and this man is not treating you with respect. It's like he's giving me high school jock you know saying I'm just with the rose and you know just trying to live life. Like it's giving me all of that and I'm not feeling it and I think Natalie just needs to move on. And one thing I forgot to mention was that he always wants reassurance from Natalie. Like, he will always ask her, like, am I handsome? Am I beautiful? All this extra stuff. And then, like, she'll jokingly say that, oh, he's not, da, da, da. And then he'll catch so much feelings. And also, when they were in the pods, he didn't even know who the heck he was talking to. He couldn't remember if he was talking to Shayna or he was talking to Natalie. And that in itself was a big red flag. So, yes, Natalie needs to run away and since we're talking about her we can go right into natalie natalie what are you doing on the show i feel like natalie's such a beautiful girl i feel like she does have a good head on her shoulders but you know like they said love can be blind i think she you know probably does love him but it's just like you're ignoring all these red flags and it's like you're not even really confronting him on a lot of these things especially like how he behaves how he talks to him, especially the whole Shayna situation and how basically he let this girl get into his head which I'm about to get into but he let this girl get into his head and now you feel some type of way about Natalie so now we're gonna go right into Shayna Shayna you was a you big fat white nasty spelling I don't like you Shayna and it's so crazy because what Shayna did with Kyle, I felt like she did the right thing. Then let me let me just say this clip. She did the right thing by calling it off, you know, not going through with the engagement. But however, she is all cat. And let me tell you why. In the beginning, Shayna told me how she liked Shane. Mind you, she, this whole show is really just about gaining connections behind a wall. So somewhere down the line, Shayna was feeling Shane. Okay, you're following me. Shayna was feeling Shane and for some reason she was also feeling kyle and the thing is shayna was you know is very big about her religion you know she wants a person who's obviously like a christian man or just somebody who's just you know willing to open themselves up to god and with kyle he wasn't with that so shayna she saw that as a little red flag to her and you know the whole the whole thing is about you know i want a guy you know who is a christian man. i want a guy da, 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 that believes in my faith my morals my blah 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 right cool that's understandable but when he asked her to marry him she said yes so my thing is if you know that you and him don't really see eye to eye on a lot of things why would you say yes to the engagement that's something that I didn't understand and I thought that was very confusing her on, on her end because like I said, I get it. You don't like the person, you don't like the person, but I think you know what it was? When she saw Kyle, and let's be real, Kyle got them, Kyle had some pretty big ears. When she saw him, she probably was like, that's what he looked like? And I feel like that's how a lot of them were. And she just was like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. And I think she even mentioned something like to the effect of, um, you know, physical attraction also plays a role into like liking someone, whatever. Something along those lines. She mentioned something like that. I think it was her, either her or it was the other chick that looks like her but she wasn't even on the show because nobody matched with her because she was like a ditzy but she just did not seem attracted to him and I felt that she didn't really say it explicitly but I just felt like Shayna wasn't really attracted to Kyle and used the religion aspect to pretty much break it off with him but the truth of the matter is that once she saw Shane at the beach now when she saw him she was like dang 
I should have went for him. But it was so weird because she was so like, you know, Kyle must be the one, da da da. But it's like, you wanted Shane the whole time. Now that you see what Shane looks like, you're trying to go for him knowing he's with Natalie. And I'm just like, where is, where is the holiness in that? Because you talking about all this hot mess with Kyle saying, the faith, your faith, da da da. But in reality, reality, you're just not attracted to Kyle. And honestly, I feel like if Kyle was the kind of person that she was attracted to, I don't even think the religion would have even been a problem for her. If anything, she would be convincing her family to be like, listen, he just believes this. You know, let's not bring that into the mix. I love him. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I think it would have been on that time because when she was talking to Shane, to Shane, when she was talking to Shane on the beach, it was no mention of, you know, what's her faith, what do you believe in. It was all about flirty, flirty, flirty. I could get Natalie a new man. So now all of a sudden, your faith goes out the window because you want this goofball right here. You foul. And speaking of all of that, Kyle, I think he's a cool dude, but I feel like he was just trying to force it as well. It's like, clearly this girl does not like you. And I feel like, let's just say the religion was the main point of it right that you're willing to accept her for who she is like you gotta think about that whole family is very religious and it's like you have to sit through all that meaning that the kids you're going to have they probably going to want them to get you know baptized all this extra stuff like they're gonna they're gonna live by that and are you willing to even take that chance knowing what you believe knowing you know your own opinions about it it's like it's just not gonna work and i just feel like he really should have thought about it like think about it she didn't want to sleep with him in the same room when they went to mexico she didn't want to live with him in the city she didn't want to do anything like that she just did not want you so if a person is showing you that they don't want you you need to see that listen to that and be like all right then maybe you're not the person for me but that's a lot of these couples on the show right so kyle's over there i don't think we're gonna see him anymore boom my bang he's gone so now we're gonna talk about shake now shake i don't know where they grabbed this man from but he needs to go back shake is so materialistic very shallow it's so weird because i liked how him and dp kind of grew together like grew upon each other etc and it's so crazy because when it was in the pod it was like yeah i date white people all he ever dated was white people and same with her you know majority of the time she dated white guys and it's like they kind of like shared that and then you know culturally they shared you know they obviously relate to each other and you know they're both indian and it's just a lot of you know connection they were making and i'm sorry all right, cool 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 but i'm just like the stuff he was saying to them in the beginning he was like oh if you don't work out i can't be with the person who doesn't work out but then later on in the season he doesn't even work out himself he got a whole gut so a lot of things that he was saying was very very hypocritical let me just get right into the the meats and juices of this dude so basically him and dt fast forward they're together they're in mexico cool 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 but then next thing you know he's talking about oh i don't know if i'm attracted to her you know she's cool she's like my best friend but then also he mentioned that because of that he also feels like she's he just she just seems very familiar to him like she could be somebody in his family and i think that's what's kind of like scaring him away from that from that idea like oh it's kind of like i'm dating a family member which is i don't get. maybe i could be twisting those or not i hope not but i feel like that's what i was getting from that from his response to that and it's like this is somebody that you're compatible with and i don't know if he's afraid of being compatible with people because think about it, the woman he dated in the past probably just did not understand her and i love because they just aren't they're not coming from the background that he's coming from you know so they can only connect to him to a certain extent. Whereas Dee Dee, you know, she's coming from like that cultural background, you know, she's coming from that scene. So it's like she understands certain things that you're going through and you will understand certain things that she's going through. So what's really the issue? But then, you know, he's probably looking at her body and everything. He's like, well, she, she got all the checklists but I just don't find it really attractive. That's basically what he's saying. And I'm just like, you can't be doing it. And it's like, that's the case. Why are you still going through with the engagement? Why are you still showing her to your parents? You know, she's showing you to her parents. It's like, you're going through with it, but you still don't know if you're going to be attracted to her or you're, if you if you are attracted to her. I'm like, she deserved better. And then going to Deep D, she deserves better. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. She knows her worth. I just wish she's just not just blindsided by his bs now jared you know i was rooting for my boy i was rooting for my boy jared i was really i really was because i felt like you know he was chill he like well, i feel like he was like the most chill dude there you know he seemed like he know what he wanted but he played mallory and ayana he wanted mallory because she obviously was 
well established you know i had a life going on for her so for him it's kind of just like i feel like he kind of sold the dollar signs in that and it's like okay cool we can make money together because based off of his life he's a hustler you know he's a a healthcare aide or something like that and then he does barbershop on the side and he does some other stuff on the side so it's like you know he hustled for his money you know to make the living that he does and mallory she is a non-profit manager so you know she's doing her thing and it's like cool you know y'all can make something happen but then with Ayana, you know, she's going to school. She's getting her, I think she's double, double majoring, whatever, for her master's. So either way, she's getting her education. So she's working a cute little job just pretty much to support her. But for him, it's like he didn't really connect to her on that level, but he connected to her on more of a personal level, more of that deeper connection because of the stuff that they went through. So they was able to be more empathetic to each other. Whereas Mallory, with him, he connected to her more of like, we the bro, da da da, we, we share a lot of other interests that doesn't involve that, and that's cool too, you know? So, but Mallory turned him down. Why she turned Jared down? Don't know. But she turned him down. And then, guess what? He goes to Ayana, because that was his second choice. And everybody already knew. Everybody already knew, 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 knew that he proposed to Mallory, but he still went for Ayana. And then Ayana was like, yo, like, I'm your second choice. If you really, if you really liked me, why did you choose me second? Why can't you even ask me? Why wasn't why why wasn't I your first choice? He doesn't seem really committed to Ayana. I think, like I said, he's another one. I feel like a lot of them just really trying to convince themselves, like, oh, they're the one, they're the one. I'm just dealt with, I'm just dealt with, da da da. And it's like, no, you can't, you can't do that. I don't think he's really committed. And I feel like with Ayana, just going to her really quickly. It's like she's, you know, her, you know, she has passed with trust issues and everything. So she's really trying to find all these signs. Sometimes I feel like she'd be doing a little too much. I'm just like, chill out. I don't think it's that deep. But it's like she's trying to find a balance. She's trying to figure out, like, how can we make this work knowing that our lives are so different from each other? And I feel like that's what's kind of going on through her head. And honestly, I don't think they're going to work out. And that's so crazy because they were the couple that I was like, you know what? I'm rooting for y'all. All these, all these other people, I really don't care, but y'all are moving for y'all. So now we're going to hop into Mallory. Mallory, this girl, I don't think she likes Sal. And I think, like I said, it's kind of like what Shayna did to Kyle. It's like, y'all saw the person, y'all just was not feeling it. And I guess Sal is just like this really nice guy. And she wasn't feeling him in the beginning and stuff. Like, even with just kissing him and all that extra stuff, she just really was avoiding of him. Until eventually she got close to him, they was able to work things out, but I don't think she's feeling Sal, and especially with Sal didn't even tell her that he was still with another girl, and the girl didn't even know they was even broken up, or they, you know, what they were, so I'm just like, how you not tell her that she still have a girl, and now you're getting married? And yeah, Sal is just very, very shady, I don't like the fact that he had another girl, or well, a girlfriend, didn't tell her that he was going on the show, now he married some other chick, and didn't tell neither one of them what was going on so he's shady i don't care his little nice guy act how sweet he is to mallory his little music thing he got going on i feel like he's doing a lot of singing like his singing's not that good so i don't know why he keep putting out this little, little ukulele nobody wants to hear it but he's gotta go now the last people i'm gonna just talk about them as a whole because i feel like separately we're gonna be here forever nick and danielle are the worst couple to ever be paired with each other and it's so crazy because they was the first couple to leave the pods, you know, but they are the worst couple to ever be paired because they just don't get along. Danielle is very much insecure. It's giving me very much, tell me that you love me, tell me that I'm beautiful, tell me this, tell me that because I'm so insecure about myself, ah, uh ah. -uh. And like, I get it. You know, everyone has their own insecurities. Everyone trying to, you know, everyone's trying to grow, da, da, da. But it's like, I feel like Danielle is not actually doing the work, you know. And every time somebody asks her, oh, like, you know, what made you fall in love with Nick, da, da, you know, considering the fact that you didn't see him. She's like, well, you know, I lost like 70 pounds and, you know, just starts talking about her weight. And it's like, girl, nobody's even thinking about your weight. Nobody's looking at you in that type of... And honestly, like, you lost 70 pounds. So if you were 70 pounds heavier, I probably still wouldn't have noticed that you was even be considered, like, fat, you know? So it just really just bothers me that she always brings that up. She always talks about her weight, this and that. And it's like one of those things. It's like, you know how people would be like, oh don't look at the pimple on my face like it's so ugly like you're bringing attention to it if you don't want people to look at it don't bring attention to it and that's that's kind of like how she is with her weight we're not looking at that but because you keep mentioning it we're gonna bring attention to it because now you just keep talking about it and she just always tries to look for that reassurance in nick and you know nick you know he's very nice 
you know he's accepted a lot of crap from her you know because he likes her for whatever reason he likes her and you know he wants the marriage to work but I feel like he's just accepting it to this point it just seems like he just won't accept anything because he just wants to find that love especially for him like he grew up both of the parents you know his parents divorced so I guess that affected him so now he's just trying to I guess fill that void by marrying some chick that he doesn't even know so that's why I feel like with the mother like she was not with it like I was with his mother I was on his mother's side I was like listen whatever she feeling I'm feeling because we're not feeling Danielle and then it's like they're all just being honest with him like you haven't even seen her you know you never seen her then we did see her cool you know you're lucky that she's pretty basically and then on top of that you don't know her you know and I get the whole point of the show is obviously marry somebody within like a week and some change you don't know them you know and can you guys just really connect without actually having to worry about the other stuff that goes into that and sometimes it works out but I feel like with these people I think they really got ahead of themselves they really thought that this is something for them because this is a show for people who don't care about that stuff and for them they care about every little thing and it's like this is not for y'all and with Nick it's like you don't even know like you guys are literally arguing about nothing a lot of times they yell starts the arguments and it's like what are you what are you, what, what are y'all trying to get at and especially like the whole beach situation when it was in mexico and she was like crying first of all she was sick so she didn't go to the beach party then she's talking about oh like i locked myself in the room i started crying and honestly i was really trying to understand what was the thing that she was upset about and i didn't even think she even got to that answer because she didn't even know why she was like that and to me that's a red flag to me that's a person that does not need to be in a relationship that does not need to seek marriage that's a person that needs to seek therapy she needs help and what she's doing and trying to marry somebody it's like come on what are you what are you really doing and it's so crazy you know like her dress she probably had the best dress the best makeup look like she looked gorgeous i would say that danielle looked gorgeous in her bridal gown but she is not suited for marriage and then even with like her parents or her mother or whoever was talking about like yeah like every relationship she had pretty much failed you know because danielle could be a lie so you know are you basically willing to deal with her and it's like i feel like when it comes to stuff like that you shouldn't have to be forced to just it, sh it shouldn't be something that you just gotta deal with you know something you gotta cope with i feel like people should just be 100 percent you know emotionally physically mentally just just be 100 percent or at least close to that i really do hope and pray that nick says no to her at the altar I know he should have figured it out earlier, but I feel like he gonna do what's right. I think he just needs to say no to Danielle. You know, just maybe if you really do like her, date more. The marriage is something can wait. It can wait. But y'all need to get to know each other. And if it doesn't work out then, cause like they're literally arguing over little stuff. You know, little stuff, stuff that doesn't exist, stuff that doesn't matter. Who wants to, you really want to marry? Marry into that? And then like, your families they don't really approve you know danielle's mother is just like yes finally she found a man now she can stop complaining now but it's like your daughter doesn't even know how to have a mind of her own without actually you know without getting a reassurance of like how pretty she is or her weight or whatever it's like she's constantly like oh my gosh like thank you for liking my hair but you know my hair is this da, da, da. you know i did this it's like it's always constant complaints constant constant bringing up insecurities and that's really draining on the other person and now the other person has to work really really hard to convince you that you're beautiful to convince you that you're worth it and she never really asked him how he felt they had times where they were like talking about it but then she'd be like well but you know this is an important day for me and you were supposed to be happy but it's like he's telling you that he's dealing with mad stuff and it's like you're not even taking that into consideration but you want him to listen to you you want him to do everything for you but you're not even looking at it from the bigger picture like he got stuff going he's human he gonna deal with some stuff so why are you getting pressed about him not being like super jolly with your family on that day so stuff like that i'm just like yeah they're not meant for each other danielle really does irk me out of everyone <laughs> i just hate seeing the both of them because first of all nick he, he gossips a lot like he is a gossip girl danielle the complainer and a gossip girl and this is like y'all just not a match made in heaven I'm sorry it's season season two these are the people who really thought something like this was going to help them and it just 
it's just not for them like people have to know themselves and it's like if you know these are the things that you look for into a person and if it takes you time to really trust a person to really do all this extra stuff with a person then this is not the show for you this is the show for people who said listen i got it all and i'm just ready to just put all my eggs in a basket with this person that's literally that type of show this is the type of show for those people but if you're not willing to put all of your eggs into the basket then this is not this is not it that's my thoughts on season two for now because like i said the next episode is coming out february 25th so we're going to have another video for that so i hope you guys enjoyed this cute little rundown of all the people that's in the show all the contestants and whatever you know stood out to you when you was watching the season or anything that i said in the video please leave a comment down below and i will answer it asap because i love discussing with you guys i love chatting you know just having those conversations and i'll be back again with another video